So coach, for this, for you, it's year two. Um, obviously you were on the bench next to Jay for five years, but any bit of a difference going into this year? Any lessons you may have learned? You know what? It's just, uh, it's all about patience and um, playing with great confidence and, uh, you know, let the game take care of itself. Worry about the game. Worry about within the game and what happens in the game. Can't worry about the final score. You can't worry about winning and losing. You can't worry about who you who you have and who's healthy and who's not healthy. We just got to go with who we have and, and, and play as hard as we can. Play BU basketball. And I'm just trying to let the pro process take care of itself. And that's what I did last year. Yeah, I'm just trying to go in with great confidence and, and hopefully we are. Yeah, um, uh, uh, and the entire season uh, you've been preaching defense and uh, rebounding uh, and, uh, and, uh, and with your first round of that's that's like their bread and butter. That's what that's what yeah. Well. So how much more? Uh, so how much more important do you do uh, do your team's defense and your team's uh, and your team's rebounding be coming again? Like that? Even more so. Even more so. You're right. E even more so. I mean. Billy Herrian's a great coach, and what, he, what he's done this year with that team has been pretty amazing uh, after losing two of the top guys. And uh, they defend, they rebound, they're tough, they're physical. Uh, they get to more 50-50 balls than any, any team I've ever seen, and, and that's because of him. And I, I've known him since I was uh, a player myself. He was at Drexel. I was at Philly U. So, I mean, he's a great coach, and they're going to play really hard. Uh, and somehow we have to play harder. Somehow we have to... We have to dig deeper and, and play harder and play smarter. And, uh, you know, all we have to do is win it by one. Looking at UNH, they have two pretty talented seniors in Tyrone Conley and Dane DeLegro. How do you game plan for those guys? And I know you never want to say that you're going to focus on one or the other, but is one player maybe a bit more of a focus heading into this game? It, it's we got to play five guys against the ball, and that's the way we play. And that's the way UNH plays. I mean, there's no denying we play very similar styles as far as our defense and our, our emphasis is on defense and rebounding. So Conley's terrific. I mean, he had 26 against us up there. He was a leader. Um, he drilled shots. He got to loose balls. He rebounded. He was amazing. He was amazing. And for Dane, it was his first game back um, after being suspended. And, and he gave them pretty good minutes. He wasn't looking to score. He was looking to drop dimes. So, again, we got to play five guys against the ball. we got to do – everybody's got to do their job. And we got to limit our mistakes and take care of the basketball because when they get out and run, they can really be effective. Will you look to run a bit more to see what you can do against them? Well, they, again, they're very good at their transition defense. They do a really good job. So um, we're going to keep playing the way we've been playing. And uh, if we have opportunities to push the ball, we're going to push it. And if we have to play uh, half court a little bit, we can do that now too. I'm, I'm very comfortable in our half court sets. I think these guys have really uh, started to share the basketball a lot more. Even though our assists don't say that, uh, I really see extra passes, some really good screen assists. We're putting in the post more. We're getting in the paint a little bit more. So it's good. We're really starting to mix it up. Coach in baseball, I talked about saving the pitcher for the next round. Uh, John Allen, the pitcher. How much do you save him possibly for, for Sunday on Saturday? Well, that, that's still to be determined. Uh, I'm going to see how he does today if, if he goes at all. Uh, still to be determined. And, and Friday he's better than, you know, he's going to play Saturday. And uh, I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not that way because uh, it's the American East. You get one chance. And uh, we got to lay it all on the line. And he, he, if he can play, he's playing. And if he's going to play, it's just going to be from 34 to 36 minutes. And that's it's John Hong. And I think he wants it that way. He's a senior, and he's been here before, and he's got to show these younger guys what it's like to be in a tournament like this. Looking at the younger guys, do you maybe take them a little bit differently this week as opposed to last year where you had so many veteran guys? You know, you know what's unique about our younger guys? They've all played in championship games. They've all played in state championship-type games. So I feel like they've, they've got a great understanding of what this tournament's about. Uh, I was really proud of the way they handled themselves at Vermont. You know, they didn't put their head down, they didn't shrug, they didn't say, oh, I'm getting fouled or anything like that. And, and, the, and the crowd, I, I, I thought the crowd at Vermont was, was great. It's, one of the, it's the best crowd in this league. And, and I thought our guys really responded and, and didn't get intimidated. And that's why you do the non-conference that you do. That's why you go to Kentucky. That's why you go to down to Villanova. That's why, you know, we play Harvard every year, but that was, that was crazy this year too. So uh, it's good. We, we need to do that, but I think our guys are ready for it. Do, uh, oh, sorry, Tristan. Go ahead. Oh, uh, do you feel that the that the that the Vermont?
rocking was kind of a coming of age a moment for guys like DJ, for kind of your younger, more inexperienced guys? I wouldn't say coming of age. I, I would just say they're getting better. They're starting to understand, you know, they're no longer freshmen. You know, it's March, you're sophomores now. I know it's an old coach's cliche, but that's the truth. That, you know, they all know our defensive rotations now. They all know our sets pretty well now. Uh, they all know they got to play hard and defend and rebound. And um, they all know about attitude and attitude club and all our game goals. So I, I think they have a better understanding today than they did a couple months ago. And that's why we keep tapping at the stone because early on, you know, we struggled. We struggled. But I, I just knew at some point we were going to turn this thing around. And I wasn't sure if it was going to happen at all this year. And it finally did, uh, thankfully, after the UNH game and going into February. Was that rock bottom? I think rock bottom is a deeper place, or deep, much dark, sinister type place. <laughs> I mean, we lost a basketball game, you know. We, we don't have the craziness in our locker room. We don't have, uh, we got good kids. We got good character guys that go to class. Um, so I've seen rock bottom, it's ugly. It's an ugly thing. So I wouldn't say that was rock bottom. I think there's there's a deeper place. Winning on the road was tough for you guys early on in the season. And the last two road games seemed pretty daunting going into them. But two victories has to have you guys feeling pretty good about playing on the road. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, we were not a very good road team early on. And that's a young team. And that's a, a couple newcomers. Everybody getting a kind of get to know each other a little bit. And I do like the road, though. I like going on the road because it's just you and your team. And you get to have meetings and you get to hang out. And that's where you really bond. Um, but that Stony Brook game was definitely a turning point, along with the main game at home. Um, Stony Brook, we finally got a win on the road. And I, I think it gave them some confidence. And we lost a lot of games by one possession, by a couple points here and there. And I'll take some of the blame on that. I got to do a better job of closing out games. And I got to put these guys in the right position to, to be successful at the end of games. And I think we all learned a little bit about ourselves. And that's why we, we did a pretty good job on two senior nights. With Jake out and John potentially not playing as many minutes or if at all, how much more does a guy like Matt or a guy like Pat mean to you guys with their experience and the fact that they're not necessarily guys who always have to carry the load? You know, and they're, they're our captains. So they mean even more. You know, they're our leaders. They're, they're the guys that are getting these guys ready to stretch right now. They're the guys before the game that are getting these guys, these younger guys, ready to go, motivating them. I mean, they're huge. And the minutes that Matt and Pat have been giving us are have been terrific as far as doing the little things. And, and, and they're giving us points. But they're also rebounding. Pat gets blocked shots. Chris, being a lockdown defender, he's getting some rebounds. I mean, he had seven and eight rebounds in two games this year, which is pretty amazing for a 5'10", 5'10 point guard. So uh, they, they're, they, they mean a lot to our team right now. In more ways than you can ever imagine. Coach, you said after the Vermont game, you wish it was still January as far as getting this team to gel together. Uh, not quite at that point yet, so you were hoping for some more time. But um, talk about whether you think that, that that fact in your mind opens up this team for a possibility going into a game with a lot attached to it, opens up this team for a possibility of a disappointment or some issues there. Talk about some there, there there's no doubt with a young team, you, you never know. The, the America East is wide open. UMBC beat us, Hartford beat us, UNH beat us. Anybody can beat us on any, but that's across the league. Anybody can win this weekend. Anybody. It's just who's hot, who's having a good game, who's making shots. I mean, if you're making shots, everything's pretty. It's a, you know, the game's a little bit easier. But who's going to grind it out and win it by one? Who's going to hang in there when adversity and there's challenges and obstacles? I, I, I'd like to think we're ready for that. I'd like to think we're prepared for that. But you never know. And you know what? If for whatever reason it, it, it's over on Saturday, I'm really proud of this crew. I'm really proud of this team for what they did this year. I mean, there's, it's definitely been a unique season of, of grinding with younger kids, one senior, and three newcomers. And with all the injuries that we had all year, I would say this was a successful year. But I don't, I don't even want to think, you know, let's not even think about that. I want to, I want to go into Saturday with a clear head, great confidence, and go get them. Thanks, guys.